Hey guys. hey guys! Welcome to another exciting episode of The Third Space. I'm Alex. This is Phil. Um, and this is a section we like to call Word, Word on, on the, the Streets. Street. So basically we go out on the streets and we have you ask us questions about health that you've always wanted to know and um, we give you the facts. So um, On this week's episode, I'm actually quite excited about this, week, this week's episode because one, for one, uh, we have, there's so much continuity from uh, last, week's, last week's episode, yeah. which you should totally check out by the way. Um, and for two, this question is very, very important and we feel most people do not have sufficient knowledge on the matter so we are here to bring you the facts so here's the question I always hear this word perhaps me but I don't know exactly what it means like what is the meaning of perhaps me and uh, the, the, the do's and the don't the advantage and the, I don't know is it a sickness or and we're back. Um, so this week we brought another person who is quite knowledgeable on this topic. Uh, she's actually another colleague of ours and we hope you enjoy her video. Hi, my name is Yellow Shimi and I'm a final year medical student. Today we'll be talking about pap smears. I know a lot of women wonder about pap smears and it is absolutely crucial to know about them. A pap smear is a procedure used to test the cervical cancer. It involves um, collecting cells from the cervix and then having a look at them under the microscope. The cervix is the lower part of the uterus, it extends into the vagina. For those of you who want to know a little more about what the cervix is, have a look at the cervical cancer video. Why do we do pap smears? Um, pap smears are done to screen for cervical cancer. Um, they are able to detect um, changes in your cervical cells, which then later um, may become cancerous. Um, if cervical cancer is detected early with a pap smear, um, it gives you much greater treatment options. The number of risk factors have been identified for the development of cervical cancer. Uh, in broad categories, these include uh, exposure to HPV, which is human papilloma virus, um, smoking, as well as lowered immunity. So, for exposure to HPV, which is a human papilloma virus, um, it includes um, things such as an um, early sexual debut, so starting to have sexual intercourse at an early age in the teenage years, as well as having multiple sexual partners. So for lower immunity, uh, these include uh, people who live with chronic illnesses such as HIV or women who take uh, medications that can lower your immunity. The third risk factor uh, includes smoking. So um, smoking, as we all know, um, does increase your risk for cancer in general. So cervical cancer is no exception and it increases your chance of getting cervical cancer by two to, time, two to four times. So it's up to you and your doctor to decide on when to start having your pap smears. Generally, it's recommended for women who are sexually active and then also for women who are 21 years and older. In a woman's lifetime, um, pap smears are usually carried out between the age of 21 and 65. Um, how frequent you should have your pap smears then also then depends on if you're high risk or low risk. So um, normal low risk um, women can have their pap smears every three years fall into the high risk category, it may be a bit more often, such as once a year. Uh, a pap smear is carried out by a gynecologist. Uh, this is a doctor who specializes in the female reproductive organs. This procedure can also be done by a trained nurse. A pap smear is a walking procedure. Um, it's free in any state hospital or clinic, um, or can also be done at non-governmental organizations. A pap smear is performed in your doctor's office and takes about five minutes. It involves the doctor gently inserting an instrument called a speculum into the vagina. This helps visualize the cervix. Once the cervix is visualized, the doctor attains um, some of the cervical cells with a soft brush. So after the pap smear, you may experience some spotting, but you usually go by a day as normal. A pap smear is not painful, but it may be uncomfortable. 
So before going for your pap smear, it's important to keep a few things in mind. So for at least two days before you go for your pap smear, make sure you avoid sexual intercourse, uh, vaginal uh, creams or medicines, um, douching, and also make sure you're not on your menstrual period. Um, this allows the doctor to be able to pick up abnormal cells on your cervix during the pap smear. Because of the nature of the examination, um, it's important to mentally prepare yourself. Um, remember, it's better to catch cervical cancer earlier rather than later. So in conclusion, cervical cancer is still growing and this gives us an opportunity to prevent it. This gives us an opportunity for prevention, early detection, as well as treatment. If detected early, um, cervical cancer has a much better chance of a cure. And this is why you need to book your pups here as soon as possible. So now you know about pap smears, their importance and how to prepare for one. Next, we'll be talking about circumcision. My name is Yalo Shimi and this is The Third Space. Um, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you think of the video. Let us know what you think of the content and ask us any questions you might have. Yeah, definitely. Um, look out for our fun facts over the course of the week, please, and our interactive questions as well because we're definitely going to test you on what this video is about. Hi. Um, also check out check out our social media pages um, at uh, the th spaces at the third space <laughs> underscore on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, and also look out for the information in the description down below, yeah. uh, where we yeah. put on uh, put further uh, documents and PDFs on just for further reading for those who might be interested. So yeah, tell your mother, tell your sister, tell your uncle, whoever needs to know about this. Share. This is important, but definitely, share. ladies, please pay attention and share. Click the notification bell so you get notified when we post a new video. But thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the video.